Today we're gonna to be looking at how to divide with two digit divisors. Let's go. So first of all, let's just think about what these words here mean. Because today we have to remember that the dividend goes inside and the divisor goes outside of the bus stop. So let's have a look at what that means with this first example. So I'm gonna draw my bus stop and the dividend goes inside. Well, the dividend is the number that we are sharing. So I have 432 in this case and the divisor goes outside my bus stop, and in this case, the divisor is 12. I'm sharing 432 between 12. So I put my divisor outside. Now this looks like every other division question we've ever done, except we have this two digit divisor on the outside. Well, that's okay. We actually don't do anything different. The only difference is we might not know our 12 times tables, therefore not knowing how many groups of 12 we can take away at each time. So my advice to you is to quickly draw out the 12 times table down the side. 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, and 84, we'll leave it there for now. And then all I'm gonna do is simply do exactly what I would do with a division question, and that is to work my way along my dividend, solving this in small parts. So let's begin by looking at how many 12s there are in four. Well, if I have a group of four, one, two, three, four, I cannot take a group of 12 away because I don't have enough yet. So I simply have zero, but I can't just ignore this four. I have to bring it next door, which is the next piece of a device that I need to remember today. Remainders go next door. So I bring this four along to the next column. Now my three becomes a 43. And my second question is how many 12s are there in 43? This is where my times tables down the side is gonna become handy. because so I have one group, two group, three groups, but I can't do the fourth group because that's 48 and therefore more than 43, so I can't do it. So I have three full groups, but I have some remainders. I got to 36, but I needed to get to 43. So what's the difference between 43 and 36? Well, I could just count up 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, leaves me with seven. So again, remainders go next door, and I'll put my remainder over here. Last question, how many 12s are there in 72? Well, I can see I have one, two, three, four, five, six whole groups of 12 in 72. So my final answer becomes 36. Okay, let's look at a second example. And again, we're gonna put our dividend inside the bus stop. So 362 goes inside the bus stop and 18 outside. Same thing again, it's gonna be very helpful for me to get a list of the 18 times tables. So I'm gonna have 18 and then two 18s are 36. 36 added to another 18 is 54. Add another 18 is 72. And then another one would be 90. Then 108, 126. And I'll leave it there. Hopefully that's gonna be enough. Now I'm just gonna do the same thing I did before. How many 18s are there in three? Well, zero, roll the three across. How many 18s are there in 36? Well, I can see one, two. I have a perfect group of two. So nothing to roll over. So it's gonna get a bit tricky now because my last question says, how many 18s are there in two? Well, there are zero, but I've now not got anywhere to roll this two across to. So I could either put remainder two, but that's a little bit amateur. So what I'm gonna do is convert my remainder into a decimal by putting a decimal point and adding a zero after the decimal in the tenths column, which doesn't change my value of 362, but it gives me now somewhere to roll my two across to. So now I have how many 18s are there in 20? Well, I have one. And again, I have two left over because I got to 18, but I needed to get to 20. Difference between 18 and 20 is two. So I'm gonna put another zero, this time in the hundreds column, and put my two across. Now I have another 20, and I can see this pattern is gonna keep going because how many 18s in 20? I have one, and again, two left over, which is gonna leave me with another 20, and therefore, another answer of one. So what can I do here? Well, I can see this pattern is gonna be recurring or repeating, so I can put these little dots on top of my ones to show that these ones would go on forever. So my final answer is 20.11 recurring. And now it's your turn. Have a go at these three questions here. It's some pretty challenging questions, so take your time, press pause on this video, and put your answers in the comments section. Okay, good luck.
And there you have it, that is how to divide numbers with two digit divisors. Hopefully this video was helpful, if it was, head on over to themathshelter.com where you're going to find loads more videos to help you with everything you need to know about your age group maths. But for now guys, I'm going to see you in another video, peace out.